All right, so I got a smaller camera that we're gonna use. Um, I believe we stopped at 15 feet. So we're just gonna come back here. This is your um, surroundings here. We're gonna go on this clean out. Uh, I forgot this ca this camera don't have a counter, so I'm gonna go basically I don't know if I seen the put that back a little bit joint again. Yeah. Let me come back here, see if see if I see that break up top. No, I guess we didn't pass the X. My camera's out, so. So my bigger camera couldn't fit because of the scale buildup. It's, it's quite a bit in here. Um, So we're just gonna keep coming back. All right, so I believe that's the break up top there that you see. Um, we know we got past here a little bit earlier. Um, that probably there is a tie-in. Um, it looks really bad there too, but it's probably just a tie-in, a toilet, something like that there, but you see it's kind of shallow up top there. So we're just gonna keep coming back. Yeah, I see a lot of same thing, a lot of scale build up. Another crack there that you see up top. Yeah, this pipe is in bad shape. Tell me if you see a hole up here, okay? I'm gonna go. I'm trying to see if. Go back a little bit. I think there is, because I see it here. No. Is that it? This is probably a tie-in there too that you see up top. Uh, that's a hole at the bottom there for sure. Um, it's a bunch of scale buildup that we see there. Let's see if we could get past it. So this is that part where I I put that black pipe in there. So. That's this here, so. And then that's basically that scale build up that we've seen that's clogged half of the pipe. So we made it back um, to where I was working earlier where they, they uh, saw cut some concrete back there. So this pipe just needs some real good descaling. Um, to make it smooth. And then um, we could do CIPP lining or however you want to do it or just descale it uh, and get it smooth. And uh, the only issue that I may see here is um, when we're descaling, this pipe that is thin walled, some of it might come off. Um, that's fine. As long as it doesn't collapse, we can still rehab the pipe. If it does collapse, uh, we have to get into that spot and fix it um, The tie-ins we could use a robotic cutter 
uh, or reinstate tools to reinstate the connections. Um, so we basically uh, go through a sink or whatever it is, a toilet, and use reinstate cutters to reinstate the, the tie-in so that could flow. Uh, so when we do CIPP lining. So we're just going to come back here. And basically this camera is um, roughly about 55 feet long. So I'm thinking the liner is about 50 feet because um, where we stop there, where we see them build up with a black pipe we replaced, um, it's probably about five more feet past that. Um, so I'm calling about 50 feet of uh, lining that will give you pricing for that goes under the house. This is three inch cast iron pipe. Uh, we will not be doing no hydrojetting today. This just needs to be descaled and then hydrojetted to get all the scale build up out. I'll send you this video uh, and then you could decide with some prices. I'm going to send you another video uh, with the sewer going towards the street here in just a second.